Now today, in whatever sector we sit in, resource optimization has become so critical that it determines or has a huge bearing on your bottom line. So sustainable production, whether in agriculture and beyond, actually has become a very critical element in the production processes. Take a look. Right now we are at uh, Hatches Farm in Malala Mukono, where uh, we are having a number of activities. The first one is a poultry farming. Uh, then uh, we also have a grain handling facility. Uh, we receive maize from different farmers. And then uh, it is cleaned, dry, packed, and, and uh, sold out or used for, for feed production. Uh, we have been uh, here since 2003, uh, but uh, unfortunately COVID came in and as all uh, agribusinesses, it impacted on us. But uh, with, uh, with uh, help and uh, collaboration, uh, we got a partnership with, with ABI uh, that is supporting us to, to take up again, but uh, we are establishing surely because uh, the project has started since, uh, two, uh, since uh, October uh, 2021, and it is up and running. Uh, the project is benefiting farmers and us uh, in, in a, on a poultry value chain. So uh, we are having, as I said before, a quite number of, of activities. Uh, we are training farmers. Because the project is trying to address uh, many challenges on, uh, on the value chain, on the poultry value chain, uh, starting with, uh, with feeds, actually starting with chicks, because what you saw down there, it was a parent stock of, of Brella, uh, especially Hubbard, uh, Efficient Plus. Uh, we are producing very good, high quality chicks. And uh, then we also, address the issue of feeds. With feeds, we have stores, we have uh, feed processing uh, plants, so we make feeds, uh, but we don't use uh, mukene for our feeds, because mukene has been a challenge for the quality of feeds. Since mukene comes with, uh, with an issue of uh, aflatoxin, for those one who know it, so aflatoxin is impacting on, on the performance of, of chicken. It has fungal, fungal things, it has a lot of things actually, a lot of challenges. On top of that, there is a competition between human consumption and uh, animal consumption. So we are replacing mukene with what we call black soldier fly larvae. So it has very good protein compared to, uh, to mukene, silverfish, and it has uh, free fat, good quantity, so uh, black soldier fly is helping us to balance the protein content in what? In, in, in poultry feeds. To confirm with the uh, protection of environment, we have several measures we have put in place. The first all is, let me start from the building side. The building you are seeing here, we use interlocking blocks. The interlocking blocks, they minimize the consumption of cement. Actually, we con consume very less cement because the, the blocks are holding each other. Secondly, for the energy production, uh, we, use, we use light, which is uh, uh, solar light, and then we also use biogas to, to, to heat, to produce heat. Because you remember when you are brooding, the chicks need uh, some warm, warm environment of which we, we get from the, what, the biogas. Our waste, which we produce from the, what, the poultry houses, the waste we get from the grain handling facility. Because as you are processing grain, you get the, the, the waste. Then there is also waste which comes from the, the hatchery like dead chicks, uh, eggshells, all those things, we put them together to produce what we call BSF larvae, black soldier fly. Black soldier fly, it is produced on anything which can decompose, including uh, farm wastes. 
So that farm waste is not thrown away, no. We decompose it and it gives us two products. The first product is high quality organic manure. The manure is used to improve the texture of the soil. Uh, in regard to, to young people who want to join the, the venture, it is very easy and doesn't require a lot of money. No, you can start from anywhere. Whatever capital you are able to raise, raise it and enter in the venture. Because from broilers on each bird, because you sell starting from uh, five weeks, six weeks going up. From each bird, you can easily make a profit of 3,000. Now, did you know in business, integrity is actually a commodity that is bankable and tradable? Now, if you didn't, one of the easiest ways you can actually appreciate this is that in order for you to get supplier credit, you need to be a man or woman of integrity. It's also one of the areas that banks use to assess whether you're bankable or not. Take a look. The first one, integrity, is very, very critical in business. You must be reliable and you must be honest. Number two, you must have a means of controlling your costs. That is uh, because, uh, and, 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 and you need to be consistent in the business you are dealing with. Now, when I say consistency, I'm looking at if you are to supply to any consumer or any customer, you must be doing it consistently. Otherwise, you run away from you. When I say you must have integrity, he should, he, should, he should trust you that if you tell him, because you may find that you, you come in and uh, you don't have enough money, but I want to sell my goods to you. So I will have to trust you and you have to trust me and we shall do the business. So majority of times we get goods uh, which we convert into products but the tax, we pay them after two months. That is the result of trust. If you are going to start telling them stories, when we tell the person that we are going to pay you in a month or two months, we must pay you in a month or two months. So you do business knowing that you are continuously in that business. So what has killed most of the businesses in the startups is either they want to make quick money they want to do some cheating here and there. And these days, you are a staff on, on businesses. You must have your, book, your books well kept and, 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 and actually kept. Well, some look at tech as a double-edged sword. On one hand, it's actually helping production processes improve and get better. But on the other, it's also threatening the jobs. Many jobs are on the line because of the tech innovations and developments. Now, today, we want to pay more attention to the production enabling aspect about technology. 5G as a technology requires almost double number of sites to cover the same area that the LTE cover. So if on 4G, for example, in Kasese, you need 100 sites, to cover Kasese, let us say for example, on 5G you need 200 sites. So 5G requires a large number of sites because of the high speed that we provide, so the coverage is not that massive like the 4G. So 5G from investment perspective is for sure more costly than LTE. But we as an MTN Uganda, we have done that investment on the core, we have done that investment on the fiber because 5G requires fiber. You cannot transmit 5G to the core using what we call a traditional microwave. So we have rolled out more than 9,000 kilometer of fiber in the country, and we are continuing progressing with that rollout as well. But from investment perspective, you need double number of sites to provide that ultra high speed and low latency. The 5G now is live in HEMA factory, and is live on the existing spectrum that we have. UCC, they, are, they have progressed very well on releasing the required 
proper spectrum for us to launch 5G at scale. We cannot launch 5G at scale if we don't have the required spectrum uh, from UCC. Once we receive the required spectrum, we are ready to immediately start rolling out 5G at scale for business and consumer. We are operating right now in HEMA on the 4G spectrum to deliver 5G technology because we don't have yet the 5G spectrum authorized to be used. So the spectrum that we have right now can give us around 300 to 350 Mbps, which is almost 10 times faster than LTE. So the spectrum that we have right now, because we are riding on a 4G spectrum to deliver 5G technology, we can gain around 10x faster than LTE. But the real 5G, once we receive the right spectrum, is 100 times faster than LTE. 5G, as I mentioned, it can really boost the development of the country, not only the development of an operator like MTN Uganda or Hima Siemens. Majority of mega factory right now, worldwide, if they want to operate in a country, first criteria they will put, does that country has 5G? If that country has 5G, they will go and they will operate. So, and also 5G, as I mentioned, it boosts innovation because 5G can bring product and services that doesn't exist right now in Uganda because those products and services are depending on high speed and low latency. We can give you smart agriculture. Smart agriculture is extremely important for Uganda economy where we have a product called smart cow where the cow can have a small chip and you can monitor the health of the cow, the productivity of the cow, you can track your cow as well. So there is many unlimited use cases of 5G that you can, uh, can benefit from. So as part of our strategic pillars of ambition 2025 in MTN is to provide experience second to none. And today what we are displaying here in Hima is actually the 5G experience with the limited spectrum that we have. However, we would like to show you, as in the download speeds, if we compare the 500 MB file on all the three technologies, how long it takes to download such a big file. And you'll see that with 5G, we have, in less than 20 seconds, the file is done. For 4G, we are still going. So for 4G, it will take about four minutes to download the same file. Now, we are not here to talk about speeds, but what we are here to show you from the speeds that we are achieving here, there is, imagine having sensors on your, on your critical machines, and these sensors are able to relay performance data to you, and you are able to avert downtime, as in you are able to predict faults before they happen. So this is 5G that we are trying to sell to you. There are other real-time applications, things like for Joseph in uh, the logistics. If you are able to upload, you have multiple facilities, you have Hima Tororo, you have Hima here, and then you are able to upload your stock levels in real time. Then you are able to do inventory management in real time such that you avoid stock outs or overstocking. So it is just in time purchasing. So all these applications are available here. That brings us to the end of this week's edition of Manon Markets. Thank you for being part of the show. Now, on this show, we are committed to sharing with you all the best we can to help you make good and sound critical business decisions. Now, from me and Tim, I'd like to wish you a very good evening and God bless. <laughs>